all right so welcome back to this installation as you can see we have up to 10 solar panels right here on site 10 595 watt jinko solar panels i'm just going to introduce you to these panels and do a quick capacity test to measure the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current of the panel I'm going to use this one as an example, but before then, let me show you the technical details for the panel. You can see we have the maximum rated power, the maximum voltage, open circuit voltage. We also have the short circuit current, operating voltage, and so on and so forth. You can take a pause at this point so you can take note of all the technical parameters associated with this panel this is how a jinko panel looks like for any supplied you see the mc4 connectors is unique it's very easy for you to detect if it's an adulterated product not from not directly from the company you can scan the barcode on the sticker from the company and also it will take you to the website all right, without wasting for that time, let's just go straight to the measurement of the open circuit voltage and also the short circuit current. I have my multimeter and I've already connected it. You can see we're having 47.82 volts out of a possible 52 volts. That is over 90% of the rated VOC. We have a panel that is producing over 90% of its rated parameters. Then that panel has passed the acid tests. As you can see on the sticker, just verify the open circuit voltage and also see what we're having for the 7.8. That's a lot. Let's measure the short circuit current and see what we have from this panel. Short circuit the terminals, positive and negative, clip them together, then use your meter, take it to current measurements, and use the clamp. This is an AC and DC clamp meter. You can measure AC and DC current. You see that when I put it here, it's just giving me 1.95. I have to bend it in a way that it faces the sun directly. That's the inclination. So I'm going to bend it totally to the ground. I'll light fall to the ground totally and measure to see if I'll get something better and something close to what is weighted by the company so let's see what we get now clamp and you see we are having 12.01 within 10 to 12 amps that's a whole lot that's a whole lot because normally the short circuit current on the sticker when you check you have about 14 amps 13 amps there about so that's the pass mark and this panel has been said to have passed the acid tests and we can move over to the installation now thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel to get more of this kind of videos and also like my videos share and i will see you in other videos thank you very much see you again